Hi friends, we will learn about config and using this we can manage the uh, attributes or the options of any object in Kinter. So for that, uh, this is a blank window, we can just see this blank window, here it is. So this window will use it, will place a button in that. We have just declared a tuple here or the font family, font size and the, it is the uh, font style, it's a bold, you can use normal or italic anything. Now let's place a button here, b1 equal to tk dot, sorry, 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 tk dot button and I'm placing it in my parent window, mind w, I declared it at line number 2 and text equal to hi, welcome anything you can write and I am just giving font equal to font 1. That's all I am not giving any other options or I can just give one more. Let's give a background color of yellow or green something. BG equal to I am giving the hex code you can give anything and 00. zero. Okay now let's place it on the grid. So B1 dot grid now row equal to 0 column I am giving equal to 0. Now pad x. I am not flushing with the left edge. So pad x equal to let's say 10. Pad y equal to from the top edge slight gap I am giving pad y equal to 10. Now let me just save this and run once and see how this my yeah here it is. Hi welcome the button is there. Nothing is uh, configured here. Now we will see by configuring how we will change the attributes. Here we have initialized the b1 button. So now after initialization we will configure it. So we will say b1 dot configure. See config and configure both are same. So I am using configure. Next time I will use config. So I am saying background. Background I let me give it as red. So even I can go for multiple also. I am just saving this. Let's see. Now the button initially it will have a background of this particular hex code as a yellow. Then it will change. So we will get a red value now. So background should be red. Here it is. The background is red because I am configured it to red. Now even I can configure the other options also. Let me say text I am changing. So I am selling text equal to uh, hi welcome is there. I am just writing a name plus to net.com. Okay, that's all. And uh, other a lot of options. We'll see how we'll display the options also. This is the multiple attributes or the options I am setting it. Let's just check it how it looks. Here it is. So the text is changed, background is also changed. We'll try to list all the available options of a object. So here in the bottom object, we have used only text, font, and this here background, then we have configured it. Now there are many other options which we are not using, but they are available. How to get those things? So for that, note that this v1.config, this will return me a dictionary. Now how to check this? Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll let us see the type type function returns the data type it's a list dictionary or the integer whatever the data type the it is it will return so now let me just come here and print it so for that purpose let me just i'm i will print what type it is now here i will say close it so now what i am doing i am b1 config let's see what type it is and data type it is and that will be printing it here. Now let's just save this run once. Here you can see the class dict means it is a dictionary. So this dictionary will have key and values. Now let's go and print the keys of it. The keys are the option. How you will print the keys of a dictionary? For that the method is keys method. So for that let me just comment this part. Now let me come to the next line and I will say print now b1 dot config now config means I, I got a dictionary now and the keys this will return me a list of available keys and here the keys are the options like what is uh, one key is text another key is font you can see here is background so like that I will get a list of keys available for b1 so b1 similarly if i have something else another say label or a combo box or anything i can get the values so let me save this and run once here it is all the list is 
uh, interval state take for I will just lift it up. I think it's a big list. Here it is. So compound background dict key. You can read it from here. Dict key. The entire all the options are this thing are available now, and it is displayed here. Now we can also read what are the val. There are some we have set the value here. Say background we have set it red. There will be a default value. Say what is the width. Though we have not set it, the width has a default value. Those things also we can display. Let me just comment these lines. No more required. We have understood. Now let us go for a setting the width and showing the value. So let's set the width of this button width equal to by default it's zero. It takes the value of whatever the text is width equal to let's say twenty six. So whatever it is. Now here I am writing print. Now B one width. So or here before that I'll write a text a bit. So here I will write. Oh, sorry, here it is. Width width equal to I will get the value of width here. I'm just saving this and running now. Here you can see. Okay, let me close the window. You can read here width equal to twenty six. I have given. So if I'll remove this width. the default value of 0 will come so let me save this and running again so you can see here width equal to 0 we will learn about a application on this config now we'll remove all this so here it is our simple one button now what you will do will place four buttons and by click of the button will change the option of the parent window so the background color will change of the Uh, parent window so each button will have one particular color we'll see that that way we'll know how config is used so here one button my w text uh, instead of writing a text here will to indicate what is the color value will write the color value here this for the sake of understanding only it will not have effect any anywhere just text only font i have written down i am giving the background bg equal to this background i have given now i will give a command here what i will write command equal to uh, i am giving lambda so command is the click option and lambda is that function i can write it here lambda now i am saying my update this function i i am going to write it and as a parameter i will pass the value of the color so the color code uh, hex code i will pass it so i am writing 00 zero, zero. so this function my update i am just going to write it here diff now my update now this will receive the color variable color i am receiving here now let me inside simple one line of function that is my w what is my w at line number 2 it is a parent window now this parent window i am configuring config or i can write configure also so both are same so configure background background sorry 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 here back background equal to color what will happen now this will be configure my background to get to this value whatever once i click this button here it is this value will be carried to here and this will be let me just give some space here so yeah this is the function so once i click this uh, button so this will be carried there now let's uh, pad x 10 will not keep because multiple things were we have to give so here we'll say let's put 3 and pad y let's give more so let's put delete 30 now instead of now we'll multiply we'll just copy this code i am pasting one then once again b1 b2 one more will go b3 okay this i will reduce this one so we can see it okay so b1 b2 this is now here it is i, I we are just trying to place four different buttons me uh, carrying the four different colors colors means on click those things will be b3 let me just put b3 now this will be b4 4 b4 button fourth button okay now this side by side so column the i'll place it one here i'll place it 
2 this will be placed at 3 now the colors i will change so the second one will be 00, 0 ff so here i am writing this 2 i am deleting i am writing 00, 0. so this particular button background color also i will put it 00, 0 particularly here this exactly the same value i'll pass it okay so button 2 is over now button 3 button 3 i will put it ff four zeros so this is red green blue like that it will come so now here again this is the uh, four zero so this is the text part now here its own background background of this particular button because what color it will be that same background we are just carrying now here also zero zero okay now the last one i'll just give little space here b4 b4 is four zeros ff so here i am selling two sorry 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 here four zeros ff now here i will this is the background i am option four sorry four zeros now here the same value will carry to the function four zeros now i are putting ff so this four buttons are there now once we click it this each button will carry different different hex code or x value to the my update this function and it will change the background of the window this is the total code is here okay now let's me just save this and run here it is the four buttons representing four different colors so let me just put yellow so the window color has changed to yellow let me put it green now red now this will make it blue what is happening i'm when i'm clicking this particular my update is uh, this value is getting carried here and by using config i am changing the background color of my parent window we'll go for the second example now whatever the windows background color is the same color the button will have so we'll remove up to this only one button will keep this particular button will have its now function is not required we'll fix some color to this uh, our window background let's just give it some color let's give a hex value now we are giving hex code of ffcc00 so let ffcc00 so let me just check once what it is color is but button will have its own right now it will not uh, take the color so let's just see what okay so this is the color and button has its own color now whatever the color is the same color the button will have so for that purpose let's just remove all this command and all it's no more required we are not going to trigger anything now background this one will change it now bz equal to my underscore w now its own background that's all so it will pick up the background of for this let me close this then delete this part okay now whatever the background color of my underscore w or my parent window whatever is set the same background it will take so let me just save this and run you can see this has taken the same this button has the same color of this particular window now let me just change it to red sorry green will be used now what will happen to the button color the button also will take the same color so that is how we are con configuring the particular buttons so let's just that's all friends so we'll uh, uh, with this config is important we can programmatically manage the uh, configuration of any object on that kinter window and this is required when you are uh, developing applications so that's all Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel. We will be posting such important applications frequently. So I will request you press the bell icon. And if you have any doubts, suggestion, queries, anything, use the comment section below. Please share with your friends and please subscribe.